from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for December 30th, 2016. Here we are on the last trading day of the year. I hope that I have provided sufficient warning all week long about using uh, more aggressive risk management strategies, more conservative risk management strategies due to low liquidities, less traders in the market, and the potential for high volatility as we saw yesterday on the euro dollar and the dollar franc and the significant spikes that we saw on those two currency pairs due likely to the lower liquidities of traders, uh, lower liquidities and less amount of traders in the market. As we've seen over many U.S. currency pairs, we have seen a little bit of a pullback on the dollar, which provides some opportunities. As we look at the NZD USD today, we have uh, an opportunity to trade into what is a significant price level. And if you look at here on the daily time frame, you look back along the orange shaded area in the middle of the chart, you can see I put black circles along the periods or the times when the market challenged and tested this area right around the 7,000 level, give or take a few pips here and there, but right around 7,000 tested this order zone as support and resistance historically on the left-hand side. So we know that this is a significant decision point for the market, where the market has historically made trading decisions to buy, sell, enter, or exit. So with that, we might look for opportunities ourselves to look for entry opportunities. So now that we know the trend has been down, the overall trend, I'm not talking about just the intraday, just two days, but I'm talking about the overall trend that's been down along the red trend line. Uh, if we're going to trade in that direction, we look for opportunities to go short into resistance or breakdowns of support. The other day, we were looking at the potential breakdown of the green shaded area, the 69, 20, 68, 90 level. Didn't break it. Challenge didn't break it. Now we're back into resistance. So for the day today, with very limited and conservative risk, if you're looking to trade on this last day of the year going into a longer holiday weekend, this becomes a fairly minimal risk opportunity to go short on the NZD USD 6970 just the bottom of the orange zone your risk of course is that it breaks above the orange zone and continues to go higher so your stop loss would be of somewhere above the orange shaded area to protect yourself in case the market does indeed break back above it you're going to target back down to the green shaded area or lower let's go ahead and zoom it in a little bit here on the daily and again you can see the historical decisions being made here so that provides us with an opportunity i have a pending trade sitting at 6970 just at the bottom of the orange shaded area if it takes it in great if it doesn't that's fine too i'm not really w looking to put a lot of risk on on this last trading day of the year anyways and of course, there is the susceptibility of the spiking in the market like we saw yesterday on the euro dollar and the dollar franc. So as we look at this, the historical support offers us a clue to potential resistance. Uh, I could throw some Fibonacci in here as well, likely uh, from that high down to the current low. We find some Fibonacci lining up in this area, 236, 6950, and the 382, 7005, just at the bottom or the top of our orange shaded area. If I take Fibonacci out a little bit further, let me put that line back where it was. I moved the wrong line here. That one goes at five uh, seven thousand. Uh, but if I move Fibonacci a little bit further out, let's go to well, I keep grabbing the wrong indicator. There it is. Uh, let's go out to this high here. We find the 236 at 6987 or so. Let's go all the way to the highest high, and the 236 is at 7007. So again, no matter where you draw your Fibonacci levels to, you're going to find some Fibonacci that lines up somewhere in this orange or around this orange shade area, giving us some backup to that as a resistance. So looking at the 6970, 7000 level as our resistance, opportunity to go short in the market. We probably would assume that you don't want to go long underneath that resistance. The only reasons to go long, if that's what you're looking to do, would be back at the green zone or above the orange zone. So no, no apparent reason to go long, only looking for maybe an intraday short here on the New Zealand dollar at the orange shaded area today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.